Uh, hey guys here, uh, another quick little video on the uh, fluorescent light starters. Um, had somebody leave a comment uh, about the condensers and I guess I probably shouldn't should have mentioned it in my videos when I showed the repair videos of how you can repair and restore these old uh, fluorescent lamp starters. Um, I was mentioning how to change the condensers if they short. Now not all of these have condensers um, and a lot of times the starter will have marked on there that it has a condenser and sometimes it won't and it'll still have a condenser even if it doesn't say that it does. Some of them do say that and some don't. Um, this one here, the bottom was broke out of this. I'll show you that in a quick second. Uh, but whenever the camera decides it's going to focus, you can see there. It's Anyway, it says with condenser. So the newer ones will say it. This was out of that starter. That light fixture was dropped by somebody and it, the bulb broke and broke the bottom off the starter. That's why I don't like them old plas them plastic starters. I'd stay with these old vintage metal ones. But nonetheless, so the condenser is only there, guys, for... it's. Act, it acts as a noise filter. Uh, RF suppression is all it's there for. I wish this camera was really being stupid tonight. There we go. But the condenser is just there for RF suppression. Filters out the RF frequencies that reduces noise when the light starts up. Um, there's different types. There's this paper type capacitor. It's a capacitor condenser. And there's also this one here, which is a ceramic condenser. Ceramic capacitor. Now, just because that glow switch is black looking like that does not mean it's bad. And this one does work. That has no, no effect on it whatsoever. Some fluorescent starters, like this one here, let's see, is it this one? Or is, no, it's this one here. They don't even have a, a condenser. See that? Brand new one. No condenser. The condenser does not have anything to do with the operation of the light. The light will still turn on and start just fine without the condenser. So what I want to tell you in the uh, video, so if you're restoring these old things and they short, if the condenser shorts out, the light's not going to work because it's going to let current pass through it and that'll stop the function of the light. The light will not turn on, the tube ends will glow, or the light just won't do anything. So the condenser does short out, it will affect it, but it doesn't have to be there. So if you want, if you have a starter that's bad, and the condenser is the problem, you can simply remove the condenser and put the thing back together and it's going to work just fine. I restore these old things when they go bad with another condenser. I take an, uh, a newer condenser out of a newer starter like that and I'll put it in the old starter just because that if it came with a condenser, I'm going to put a condenser back in it. Uh, that's just me. I like to keep them you know, as original as possible. And like I said, a lot of your name brand ones usually always have condensers. And like I said, sometimes they'll say it's got a condenser, sometimes they won't be marked at all, but they'll still have a condenser. So just something to look for. Like I said, not all of them have it. This is a brand new one, and there's no condenser, and I opened it up already, and I showed you guys this, I think, already. Yeah, there it is. No condenser, just the, just the glow switch. So, you know, um, nothing really to it. Just thought I would touch base on that because I don't think I even mentioned that in the original video of how to repair these things. Uh, that, that you don't have to have the condenser. It's just there for a noise suppression. It's a capacitor. It's a filter. It's all it is. But uh, So that's it, guys. If anybody has any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.